We're cracking open the August 2022 Keto Crate right after this. Hey guys, welcome to the August 2022 Keto Crate unboxing. Don't forget, you can get a discount on your very first Keto Crate by clicking the link in the description box below, or you can stick around to the end of this video to learn how you could win your very own Keto Crate. Let's go. There's nothing, let's go you guys. Mm, okay. Oh my gosh, I, I looked down. What was I thinking, right? Half the joy is the surprise. I saw some favorites, which I'm already pumped about, but there's, there's still, there's layers to this thing. You know what I'm talking about? First, we are going with, oh, Chip Monk peanut butter keto cookie. Very excited about this. I've had Chip Monk cookies in the past. I remember liking the taste of them a lot because they don't taste like erythritol. They are sweetened with, it looks like allulose and hopefully monk fruit, which is the very last ingredient, which is interesting. When you name your company Chip Monk, come on now. There you go. Okay, but regardless, it's a peanut butter cookie and I'm okay with that. Yeah, see, it says made with monk fruit, but it's literally the very last ingredient. But is that because it's so sweet and you don't need a lot of it? But still, okay. One cookie is 170 calories, 14 grams of fat, 20 total carbs, and seven grams of protein. So let's see where the net, I can't flip this over. 20 total carbs, minus three fiber, minus 14 allulose. That's three grams net carbs for this. I expect this to be good. I'm excited about it. You know what else I expect to be good? Booyah! High key. I don't even know what flavor this is. Snickerdoodle, you guys, I love high key mini cookies. They are my jam. Chocolate chip is definitely my favorite by far, but any mini cookie is really gonna be one of my favorite things. And I haven't had high key. I haven't seen them in the keto crate for a very long time. So I'm glad they're here. So serving size, two and a half per container. Who are y'all kidding? But once again, I love how they have the like per serving and then per container. Like, let's be real, you guys, right? Uh, so the nutritional information for one serving is 14 grams of fat. Oh, 150 calories, 14 grams of fat, nine total carbs, two fiber, six erythritol. So that is one gram net carb and then three grams of protein. For the whole package, that's gonna be 330 calories, 32 grams of fat, 20 total carbs, and 17 between fiber and erythritol. So that leaves us at three net carbs for this entire package, not bad. Seven grams of protein. So High Key still uses erythritol and I definitely still feel like you can get a, a little bit of that cooling sensation, but I think the fact that the cookies are so small and crunchy, it doesn't really linger a lot. And so I am definitely okay with it. High Key is absolutely one of my favorite brands and I'm glad to see it in the Keto Crate. What is this? Oh, I have been wanting to try this so bad. <laughs> it is the Chalk Zero Keto Cookie Spread. Have y'all seen this? Come on now. Oh man, this is exciting. So this is just like, what is that type of cookie? Like what is a Biscoff? Bis Biscoff? Is that how you say it? What type of cookie is that? Like there's a specific flavor. Y'all know I have to, you know I have to ask Mr. Google, what type of cookie is a Biscoff cookie? No, but like what is the flavor? Flavor of a Biscoff cookie? Caramel flavor. According to it's not Super deep Golden caramel. Days, Biscoff biscuits are crisp with a deep caramel flavor and a backbone of warming spices. Yes, it's like Speculus. Speculus cookie. Yeah, that's what it is. It's, a, it's called Speculus. Speculus? Y'all know, I don't know, but it's whatever makes the Biscoff taste the way that it does, right? Which is delicious. Mm. I'm assuming that that's what this is supposed to be. Rich, buttery, and utterly delicious. Crushed cookies with a dash of spice and a drop of cream. Oh, Lord. So there are nine servings per container. A serving is two tablespoons, and there are 190 calories, 15 grams of fat, 10 total carbs, seven fiber. So yeah, this is a fiber bomb right here. Um, so that means three net carbs and then 
six grams of protein. The first ingredient, it says vegetable oils and fats, but it's sustainable palm fruit oil. And that means a lot to me because I learned on the low carb cruise earlier this year, just how bad palm fruit oil is for the environment. It's not really bad for people like all the other vegetable oils, but not that bad. Of course, it's not one of the best, but like it's so bad for the environment. Basically they're burning down the Indonesian rainforest to produce palm oil plants, like to create, to build, you know, and to grow palm so that they can make palm oil. Right? So I don't like that, but this is sustainable palm fruit oil. So that's okay. And then coconut oil and cocoa butter. So those are good. And then cream, coconut flour, egg whites, uh, non GMO resistant dextrin, almond flour. I mean, this honestly isn't that bad for like an Uber processed snack, that is devoid of any nutritional value or actual need to be in your diet. But boy, don't we just like to just have, you know, some things sometimes to just make us feel a little, mm, make us feel a little special, right? Like this is definitely one of those and I cannot wait to try it. Next, better than good foods, veggie infused, protein, grab and go, oh, tangy barbecue. These are tangy, these are barbecue-y. I am obsessed with better than good foods. All of their puffs, I feel like, taste like exactly what they say they should. So I'm expecting these to taste like tangy barbecue. One packet is 110 calories, three and a half grams of fat, four total carbs, 16 grams of protein. So there are four total carbs. There are two grams of added sugar, which I'm just like, mm. but I mean, it is barbecue sauce after all. So just keep that in mind. What kind of, they, they don't want me to be great today. Yeah, I, I just see dextrose and I see, oh yeah, the barbecue seasoning is sugar, corn, ugh, sugar, corn starch, salt, dextrose, spice, molasses powder. I mean, it's just essentially regular barbecue sauce, but I guess the thought process is that there's so little of it that it won't really have a big effect, but just keep that in mind, you know, for however much you care about the ingredients that you eat, but I'm sure thems will taste delicious. Next, oh my gosh, legendary foods, blueberry flavored, tasty pastry. Oh yeah, this is, this is a good crate right here. Uh, okay, legendary foods, absolutely love it. Serving size, one of these bad boys, and it is 180 calories, eight grams of fat, 24 total carbs, ah! seven fiber and 12 erythritol. So that means that there's five net carbs in this thing totes worth it. 20 grams of protein. Yeah. I mean, this is just, once again, I'm just like a snack food, right? And I want you to think critically about the role that snacks play in your life, in your keto journey, but <laughs> I'm going to eat this. You know what I'm talking about? Like, Oh, I absolutely love it. Mm. Next. Oh, some more fat snacks cracks. I love these things. And these are just the original sea salt almond flavored cookies cookies. Last month we had the everything, if that's what you want to call it. And it didn't really taste like anything, if you know what I'm talking about, but it was just a delicious almond cracker. And if this is all this claims to be with sea salt, let's go. It's going to be great. I know my mom doesn't like the chewy texture. Uh, they're not like snappy, like, like traditional crackers, but they are like hearty and I love them. So I'm excited. So there are two servings per container. There are 130 calories, 11 grams of fat, six total carbs, three fiber. So that's three net carbs. Uh, and then five grams of protein. That also means there's only six total carbs or six net carbs, excuse me, in this entire container, which that is okay. I mean, like I said, this will go great with some dip, some sour cream, cream cheese, guacamole, like, or just eaten by themselves. So I'm very excited to see these in the keto crate. You know what? I knew there was going to be a, oh, I knew there was going to be a meat stick. I don't, I don't feel like I've seen a meat stick in a very long time. So my husband will be happy. Um, this is the original real, that's just the brand, like real foods. Um, original meat stick. It's a beef stick. And let's see, there are seven grams of protein. Yeah. Let's see if they have the entire nutritional information for one stick. There are 80 calories, five grams of fat one gram total carb. So that's about normal. And then seven grams of protein. Yeah. This is just a meat stick with a bunch of different spices in it. Like whatever. 
And then finally, oh my gosh, oh my husband's gonna be so happy. Not only is a porking good, but it's his favorite flavor of pepperoni pizza. If this was the buttered popcorn, you know, he wouldn't be having any of it. But pepperoni pizza, he absolutely loves this flavor. I absolutely love pretty much all porking good flavors, but butter popcorn is my jam. Is it butter popcorn? Butter, creamy butter? Does it say popcorn on the pack? So once again, three and a half servings per container. I'm questioning what you want us to do with that, right? But like, I don't know, I'm eating at least half of or this entire bag. There are uh, 80 calories for, you know, like one third and a half of this. Five grams of fat, zero carbs because the serving size is so small and then eight protein. So I would count this as like one to two to three carbs if I were to have this entire bag. But regardless, the flavoring is so delicious. It's totally worth it. Just like if you're super watching your carbs, I'd count this as at least two if you ate. You know, one if you ate half of it, two if you ate the entire thing. Pepperoni pizza is delicious. These pork rinds are delicious. I love porking good and I'm excited to see it in the keto crate. Like this keto crate was very, it, I feel like it was star studded, you know? I feel like we've seen some of the powerhouse brands in the keto space, porking good, fat snacks, legendary, high key, like, oh, chalk zero. I mean, these are just brands that like we all know and love and are known for having high quality, delicious tasting stuff, right? And not to mention, I mean, don't get me wrong, honorable mention, freaking better than good foods and chipmunk, delicious, right? I learned a meat stick. But like, that's what I love about the keto crate, right? It just gives you a mixture of foods that you've never heard of before, foods from brands that you already know and love and things that you may or may not go out and buy on their own, but they're delivered right to you in the keto crate. So I'm excited to try all of these things. I mean, I pretty much, this might be one of the first keto crates in a while where I've literally had some version of everything that is in here before. So it's honestly just like a review of the favorites and I am here for that. So I'll be happy to have them on the Smash the Crate series. Once again, that's the monthly series where myself, along with my husband and mother, we try all of these products. We don't just talk about it. We bees about it. We eat about it so that you can know whether or not they're the real deal. So stick around, comment down below. Let me know which of these items have you already tried? Have you already tried the cookie butter? What do you think? Like, I hope it doesn't let me down, right? But let me know which items have you tried? Would you be excited to try? And comment down below and you can enter to win your very own Keto Crate and we're gonna draw the winner over on Smash the Crate. Uh, or like I said, like this is star studded, right? If, if these are just all foods, like all snacks that you know you love already, but like they only come in a pack of six when you wanna buy them online, like, and so you don't want, you don't wanna go that hard, right? But like you love all of these things, go ahead and click the link in the description and get a discount on your very first keto crate. That way you don't even have to take a chance, leave it up to chance whether or not you're gonna get one. But also, if alas, you know, you just wanna leave it up to the fates, then go ahead and comment down below and we'll be drawing a winner on our Smash the Crate series. Okay guys, I'm excited to try this. I got to go get me some spoons ready so that I could try this cookie butter. Mm, cookie spread, excuse me. Whew, okay, oh my gosh, it says speculus right on there. Why did I Google, why did I spend 25 minutes Googling it and it says speculus right there. Speculus? I don't, specula delicious. Okay, bye. Um, for one bag, God, what is with the little plastic parts today? No, okay. Mm, better than good foods, veggie and pew. Why can't I talk?